Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. An extra $100,000 in your pocket. What the Navy is doing to ensure that they hit their recruitment goals. Let's jump into it here. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Uh, everybody that does that helps this information get out there uh, further. So, uh, with that, let's go ahead and dive into it. If you want to support the channel in other ways, you could do that by becoming a member. You can go to the home page. You'll see the highlighted members there. Thank you to all your members. And you'll see a join button. I do my best, obviously, for those of you that have watched for a while, uh, you know that I push out as many... Uh, sorry, I'm moving my chair here. All right, so uh, I push out as many videos as I can to keep you informed. It's hard to keep up with all the comments. Uh, I rely on you guys to answer each other if you can, uh, but uh, I really do my best to get back to all you members. So thanks again. I really appreciate it. And thank you to all you subscribers, people that watch, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. All right, let's jump into it. The headline is Navy offers some sailors $100,000 to re-enlist. That's a big number, a hundred grand. Now, there's, I'm not sure how this one works out yet. Some of these uh, um, recruiting bonuses and or reenlistment bonuses, that type of stuff, are paid out in segments. It might be, you know, you get a little bit up front, you get some halfway through, you get some at the end. So, there's a subheadline, and it says the Navy has surpassed its retention goal for this fiscal year so far, which uh, which says a lot. So good for them. Uh, let's dive into the article here and see what else we could find out. Um, I'm also curious what they're doing for new enlistments. I don't know if they're going to touch on that here or not, but in any case, let's jump into it. The good news for sailors looking for a nice cash bonus to re-enlist is that those in one rating cyber warfare technicians are seeing a major increase in reenlistment bonus and are now eligible for a whopping one hundred thousand dollars that's a big number the not so good news is that there are only 22 of those sailors in the navy who are eligible wow so that is uneventful so cyber warfare technicians and then it says there are only 22 of those sailors in the Navy who are eligible. That's interesting. Uh, I want to keep going through this to see if we could, you know, flip over any stones, find any nuggets, that type of stuff. So, but a, and look, here's the here's the bottom line. You start to see things for certain MOSs or AFSCs for uh, different bonuses and so forth, and then the different branches start doing it because guess what? They're all competing with each other, and it's not uncommon to have a branch hopper either. You know, although the most uncommon, right, would be any other branch to the Marine Corps just because it's such a pain in the butt. But f f moving into any other branch, uh, it's not uncommon to see people jump branches as well. So people are competing for for uh, folks to re-enlist. There's also competition for new blood into the system as well. So let's jump into it. Uh, bat, uh, moving on. But across the fleet, bonuses are up or at least stayed flat for many ratings uh, that were eligible in fiscal 2023. Navy officials told Task and Purpose as part of the most recent adjustments to the service uh, services selective reenlistment bonuses or SRBs. Some, though not all, hospital corpsmen can also get a hundred thousand up from ninety grand. So uh, good for the corpsmen out there. That's fantastic. SRBs are used to manage manning, manage manning in specific rating and NES, Navy Enlistment uh, Classifications, uh, said Navy Captain uh, Jody Cornell, a spokeswoman for the Chief of Naval Personnel. SRBs incentivize experienced sailors with critical skills to stay Navy. SRB award levels are continually adjusted to manage the real-time needs of the Navy and specific community retention goals, which absolutely makes sense. I mean, uh, wherever you need to keep people in, right? You, you're trying to plug holes. So you got a bucket and that bucket has holes in it, right? And so whichever one you have the most holes in of your different buckets, you're trying to plug those uh, to keep folks in. All right. No bonuses were reduced. No uh, no bonuses were reduced, nor were any ratings removed from the eligibility list as part 
of the latest changes, which became effective April 15th, Cornell told Task and Purpose. The bonuses are awarded to sailors in three categories based on how long they have been in uh, the Navy. Zone A refers to sailors uh, with between one month and six years of service. Zone B includes sailors with between six years and 10 years of service. And Zone C refers to sailors between 10 and 14 years of service. Cyber warfare technicians or CWTs saw the largest jump with an increase to 100,000 in zones A, B, and C. Prior to the changes, CWTs in zones A and C were eligible for 60,000 and sailors in zone B could collect 75,000. The Navy created the CWT rating in response to the fiscal year 2023 National Defense Authorization Act, which required the Navy to separate separate the job from crypt, uh, cryptologic, cryptologic technicians, officials said. So there's a, a job split there. The CWT community is small and only 11 sailors in Zone A, 7 sailors in Zone B, and 4 in Zone C are eligible for the increased bonuses, Cornell said. Very interesting. Sailors uh, in a separate community, uh, cryptologic technician, technical, will see their bonus rise from 30,000 to 45,000 in zones A and C and 45,000 to 60,000 in zone C. Sailors in this rating use high power jamming signals to uh, deceive electronic sensors and prevent enemy attacks, according to the Navy. That's a good thing. Please. Give them bonuses to keep them going because that's a good thing. Uh, and having experience is also good. Selective reenlistment bonuses have also been increased from 45000 to 60000 for linguists in the Navy's uh, crypto technician in, uh, uh, ratings who are uh, in Zone C. Several... Remember, Zone C is the 10 to 14 years, I believe. Several ratings have also been added to the list of those that are eligible for bonuses, including, um, I'm not sure, aerographers, <laughs> I don't know, uh, aerographers mate, a graphers mate, aerographers mate, I don't know, you know, if, you, if you're that, you know, who are experts in uh, meteorology and oceanography and fire control technician rating for sailors who maintain and operate submarine weapon systems. The Navy has surpassed its retention goal for fiscal year uh, for the fiscal year so far, Cornell said, as the end of the as the end of March, the service has retained 16,967 active duty sailors or nearly 108% of its goal. However, the Navy continues to struggle with recruiting new recruits. So, there's a retention goal and a recruiting goal, two, two different goals. Uh, uh, so they, they do segment uh, that out. So uh, the Navy still struggles with the new recruitment goals. Uh, the service missed its fiscal 2023 recruiting goal by about 7,400 sailors and is expected to fall short by roughly 6,700 new recruits this fiscal year, which ends October. So you know that's it's that's it's it's been a kind of a a pretty rough go, right? Um, and I, I would say that there's a, a few different things. I mean, you could try to throw money at the problem and sure you're going to get a few folks, but um, it's it's there there needs to be some major changes. I th I think, and I don't and I don't know what those are, and I'd love to hear from you. I know that um, you know. It seems as though the military has gotten softer over the years, right? I mean, even when I was in, right, um, in the Marine Corps, right, first, it was Marine Corps first, then I was the Army National Guard, I had a break in service. So uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, 93 to 97, you know, even toward the end of my time, it was like, oh, yeah, the guys that are coming in now and gals coming in now are, you know, it's a, it's a softer Marine Corps, right? And uh, so over the years it's just seems as though that that's uh holding true which you know there's some of that but i think that they're they're i don't know if it's a leadership thing right what what have you i'd love to see your comments on what the military should do um because here's the here's the flip side 
if you keep if you keep ending up short on your numbers as a military as a whole, right? DOD, every branch, uh, eventually you have no choice but to make it mandatory, right? So how do you avoid making it mandatory uh, is, is the question. So again, you could throw money at the problem. Um, sure, your, your efforts to retain who you have is important because that experience is already there, but you do need to continuously bring in that new blood. So it's, uh, it's, a, rough, uh, it's a rough situation. Let's move on in this real quick and wrap it up. So we can absorb one year of recruiting misses, but multiple years would put additional stress on our force, which could have negative effects on readiness and potential impact for future retention. In an environment where retention is ever important, Cornell told Task and Purpose, the Navy continues to, to take a myriad of steps to ensure the fleet is fully and properly manned with the right sailor in the right place at the right time with the right training. The Navy is feeling the manning shortfalls most uh, acutely with sailors at the rank of E4 and below, which is the new blood, right? Known as the apprentice level. In response to its recruiting challenges, the Navy has increased its maximum enlistment age to 42 years of age, made exceptions to allow recruits to sign up if they have tattoos on their neck, and ears ear tattoos whatever and allowed recruits to uh, retest earlier um, if they test positive for marijuana use prior to boot camp so look yes yes and yes right I to me look if you can't do it when you're in period so you know I think that uh, if, if you're smoking marijuana before, I mean, it's a, a lot of people do and have uh, growing up, you know, as an adolescent, right, is you're kind of making the ages. People smoke now, whatever, for medicinal purposes, what have you, or just to simply relax. You know, I know people who smoke and they don't drink, right? They'd rather smoke and hang out versus drink and, and hang out. So whatever. To each their own, uh, but I think from a recruiting standpoint, you can't really hold, I mean, especially if it's in a state where it's legal nowadays, right? So can't really hold that too, too I guess, uh, high up on the bar uh, for folks. And I think that uh, the tattoo thing, I mean, it kind of just depends on the job. I mean, if, if you know, maybe, maybe you, you don't want to be the face you know, of the force, right? You don't want to be the the spokesperson, right? But if you're a mechanic sitting in the back somewhere, whatever, right? Maybe you're limited to certain job types, and you can't, ju you know, you can't be the face of the. Uh, and I get it. We're all the face of it. It's in a way, but still. All right, moving on. I am incredibly proud of our recruiting workforce. Navy Vice Admiral Rick Cheeseman, Chief of Naval Personnel. It's Cheeseman, C-H-E-E-S-E-M-A-N, or Shizman, I don't know, something like that. Posted on X April 17th, while we are forecasting a miss to our goal, we are closing the gap every day. And no, our sailors are doing everything to remove barriers and find talent to serve in our Navy. We are contracting more future, we are con contracting more future sailors we are getting out in the communities to inform them about the great things our navy does and our fleet continues to make differences globally every day and that concludes it wanted to share that with you 100 grand's no joke but that's for you know they did say corpsman as well uh, but the bottom line is is that as you see big numbers it means that all the other numbers are trickling up too as far as uh, re-enlistment bonuses are concerned and probably uh, first-time enlistments as well. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.